Completely switching gears, time for reasons to smile. Wake Up Charlotte's Ruby Durham joining us now. Uh, Ruby, a local teenager using her talents for good. We'd love to see this. Hey, we definitely love to see it. Emily Wellborn, she's only 13 years old, goes to Southwest Middle School, and she's been spending her time during quarantine painting. One day she said, you know, I want to give back to those in need, and she did just that. She's now selling her paintings for up to $10 to help Second Harvest Food Bank. Now, her goal is $1,000, so if you want to help her out, go to our website, WCNC.com, and find the story. I have linked the GoFundMe. All right, the Black-owned grocery store known as Jim Patterson's Grocery and later known as the Little Booker Store, built in the 1920s. Well, someone, a nonprofit to be exact, has saved this former small grocery store from demolition. The store sat vacant for years, but was recently put on the market. That's when the private nonprofit Preserve Mecklenburg stepped in to help. The building will now be preserved and in the future could turn into a coffee shop, small restaurant, or corner store. Last on our list this morning to hopefully make you smile or give you something to do, Charlotte Motor Speedway hosting a drive-in with uh, fireworks and it's all to benefit children's charities. It's happening July 1st and if you go you'll be able to see the classic movie The Goonies. Admission is just $40 per car again with proceeds benefiting the Charlotte chapter of Speedway Children's Charities. Caroline I want to go back to Emily Wellborn because I just think it's amazing to see kids you know spending their quality time at home and then transforming that into something to help out people in need and I just thought it was an awesome story. Oh, it's so great and you know what all of us can really uh, use that as an example. You know when we're moping at home thinking oh everything's no. Use that time and do something good for someone else and I love it.